Hello, moviegoers. This is Have You Seen It? I'm Charles, and let's welcome the lovely D. Thank you. Hello, Charles. Hello, moviegoers. We are here today uh, to talk about movies that we like in 2018. This is our first episode, but after this, every week you'll be seeing myself, Charles, <laughs> and D, yeah. and we'll be reviewing a movie that we went to the movies and saw. Right. It could be the same movie. Yes, or a different movie, because we have slightly different tastes. We do have slightly <laughs> different tastes, right? And you're going to see that yeah. when we start saying, hey, what movies did you like doing 2018? Right. All right, so my first movie is Crazy Rich Asians. Okay, <laughs> I forgot about I that I love that movie. Really? All right, I love that movie. I mean, it was funny. All right. And what it did was it really talked about the cultural differences of Chinese people, right? Chinese, they have, was it Chinese? It was Chinese. Oh, okay. It, okay. Was, it okay. was Chinese. Okay. It was Chinese. It was Chinese people. And so literally you had the difference of a pure blood Chinese person that actually they were like raw because they had a whole lot of crazy money. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then a young lady that was Chinese American. Okay. And she was introduced into that culture, right? And it it really was hilarious. Really? It was very it was very emotional. It was very thought provoking, and then it was joyous. Okay. Right. So it, it was it was something that's actually done for. This plot has been done for. Right. But the they, they the movie came off very very well, and it's going to cover all those different aspects. I'm going to start with Widows. Okay. Okay. I'm a Viola Davis freak. Love it. So if she's in anything, mm -hmm. chances are I'm going to go see it. I liked the, the concept. Okay. Widows who, whose husbands left them in a pretty bad predicament, owing big money to some shady characters and they have to find a way to get the money, raise the money, do whatever, and pay these people back and how they put themselves, put their heads together and figure out how we're gonna do this. We only have, right. like, it started like 30 days, but two weeks went by quick and then they were down to two weeks to come up with this money and figure out how they're gonna do this. So it was interesting to see um, how they carried that out. Okay, so now this is a movie that basically probably a lot of fans have not seen. So basically we want to make sure we mention it again. What's the movie again? Widows. It's Widows, right? Yes. And so, okay, so I'm going to go to number four. Okay. Avengers Infinity Wars. Okay. I saw that. I saw that. I love it. I love that movie. I'm First, I'm a big Marvel fan. I'm a huge Marvel. I collect the comics of Marvel, <laughs> right? I know all the backgrounds, everything. So I'm a t I'm total geek. But what I liked about the movie was the villain, his plight was honorable, even though he was the bad guy. Mm -hmm. And Josh Brolin played Thanos to the T. So literally, Thanos just wanted to make sure that human life across the universe exists. Because in, on his home planet, what happened was they were starving to death because it was overpopulated. Right. So, it was his, so it was a movie about overpopulation. And he's like, I'm going to be the person that resolved this issue. But he, the way he was going to do it was not a humane type of way to do it. Right. And he actually, again, you have all the emotions in there of a villain, right? This guy's the villain, right? But you're going to see, really, you could actually come to tears in this movie because of some of the feelings that he's going to explore in this, that he's going to basically show in this, in this movie. All right. So my favorite Avengers Affinity Wars number four. Okay. So D. All right. My number four, I'm going to go with Vice. Okay. <laughs> because I knew absolutely nothing about Dick Cheney and don't really care, but the cast. Uh, Christian Bale, another, I'm a Christian Bale fan, and the way that he can transform himself into character is unbelievable. Because he's done in a number of movies. Unbelievable. So when, 
when I realized that, okay, he is playing Cheney, you, you, you couldn't see Christian Bale at all. You couldn't see like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's Christian Bale. Uh, he, was, he was just gone. And I liked it because I didn't know a whole lot about everything that transpired during that presidency. Mm -hmm. And a lot, of, a lot of stuff went down. I was like, oh, and you really? Find, and you actually found and out who was actually in power, I, right? I found out who was actually in power Correct. and who was just along for the ride, exactly. basically. So Vice was a good movie. So if you are thinking about going to see that, that, that that's a good one. It had some really laugh out loud moments, actually. So it was like, what do you call it? Dramedy. But I, I have Vice at number four. Okay. Check that one out. Check that one out. My number three, Incredibles 2. It's animated. Yes. I loved it. Jack Jack, the baby, stole the show. I love, I mean, it was, it I'm was gonna have hilarious. To I'm gonna it have was to uh, actually hilarious. It actually picked up from Incredibles 1, which okay. was done in like 2004. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so the main thing about this movie, now, this is a movie that adults can go see too, right? right? right. And so, so, but the main thing about this, I, I got out of the, one of this movie is that basically, how it, how would it be that if you had a alpha, he had to be the one to stay home and take care of the kids? That was hilarious all <laughs> oh, by itself, okay. right? That the, you had the alpha man staying home and he had to take, and the woman went out and she had, she was, she was the one that was doing the working, oh, okay. and it was funny to say. Okay. So my number three. Incredibles 2. Okay. Uh, let's see. My number three, I'm going to go with Quiet Place. Okay. At your insistence. <laughs> <laughs> I kept telling you that yes, movie. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. He kept telling me, you got to see it. You got to see it. Why haven't you seen it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I finally sat there. I said, okay, I'm going to see the movie. I, I enjoyed the sign language part of the movie. I knew, okay, so somebody's got to be quiet. There's, there's probably no talking, but why? And so I, I like that aspect. It was scary. So, okay. It was scary. And it's one thing when, you know, you have to be quiet. But when you have to be quiet in an, in an extreme circumstance, in a circumstance where you have to, you know, scream your head off or you, you, you have to laugh or you have to cry or whatever and you can't make a sound. I, I liked the way that they put that together. Not only just the actors, but the whole, the, the scenery, the, the, the way that this town or wherever they right, were right. was transformed into a place right of total silence. So it wasn't just the people, it was everything around it. The environment okay. had to be quiet. So Dee, what is this woman doing having a baby? <laughs> well, <laughs> in the middle of the movie, it, well, right. well, well, first of all, <laughs> and she had well, to be quiet. Well, well, okay. How stupid well, is that? Well, well you, have to, you have to do that and be quiet, but you had to do, when you was getting down, you had to be quiet <laughs> yeah, yeah. too, and you got kids in the house, okay? So, it was well, a lot of quiet. Yeah, it, was a lot of, it was a lot of quiet, but it was, when, when it was time for her to, 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 to have, have the, I'm like, oh, oh, how are you going to do this? How are you going to do and, it? And she pulled it off That's magnificently. Awesome. So, Quiet Place, Quiet? you're number three. My number three, yes. Okay, so my number two, Black Panther. Okay, okay. Loved Black Panther. Uh, Loved it, too. The anti-hero part by Michael B. Jordan was fantastic. Mm -hmm. He really stole the show. He was okay. fantastic. Yeah, so? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think he stole the show. But they had so many good characterizations in there. So many good mm -hmm. references, right? Uh, from directing to the all the dress, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the love interest. It was just so many good things. And and then the action was really great. Yeah. Right. Yes. Love that. The action yeah. was great. And then on top of that, it was just a really, really good story. Yes. Line, right. And you talking it about and it really basically put black people in the position of, hey, we can be the dominant race on this planet. Right. Because we are technologically more advanced. Exactly. And we're smart. Right. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're pretty damn smart. We're pretty yeah, smart. Right, so right. basically number two was 
Black Panther. That okay. was my number two. Okay. Uh, let's see. My number two. Hmm. Black Klansman. Now, when that first came out, I'm like, okay, how, how did this even happen? Well, before I knew it was a true story, I'm like, this is some made up correct, correct. nonsense. Right. How can that be? But the way they did it was really like cool. We did a fantastic the way job. that they infiltrated the the clan and it was magnificent. I really I really liked the way they did that. And then the fact that man, this is a true story and a lot of the references that um, Mr. David Duke was mentioning in the movie, some of the things that he was saying, it's interesting that we're hearing some of that same um, dialogue uh, in our present um, political climate. Uh, those references are very telling. Right. And then, uh, and I thought um, um, the acting all around w was good, very believable, especially on the Klan side. Very believable. And at the end, um, my eyes did get a little misty because now you're bringing it to uh, the, the, the events of Charlottesville. Right. And that's real. Right, right. So and, and that's, that's, that's going to be really real for a lot of people. It's right? going to be really real. And so mm -hmm. some things haven't really changed all that much. And, and, and basically, looking at that movie, he kind of saw he, it. He, yeah, you saw it, and it was like, wow. Spike Lee, he has a, he, yeah. he has a way of bringing it, bringing it home. Exactly. Okay, so you're number two. Okay, so my number one okay. is your number three. Oh. Quiet Place. Oh, okay. okay. So that was no, my you number You kept saying that. You, you, that's, you. That's, I, I, so what did I like about this movie? One, it was so unique. The script was so I'm yeah. going to tell you, I was, this is a... It was a audience experience that I'd never experienced before mm -hmm. because I'm in the movie. The first 10 minutes of the movie, there was no music. Mm. You could hear a pin you drop. Could, yeah. You can hear a pin drop in that movie. Yes. All right. And you were intrigued mm -hmm. about what was happening. Now, I came away different. I didn't think it was a horror movie. Well, see, it, I didn't think it was horrible. I thought it, it was more, it, more of a thriller, psychological okay. thriller, but kind of more of, you know, you saw a lot of family interaction yeah. in there. Well, maybe ho horror was a little no, strong. No, no, well, no, no, no. It's classified as that. Well, it's classified not, as a horror movie. Not horror. But, but it's not horror in the horror. Horror sense. like, ah! Yeah, yeah. It, it's, there was some scary, like, damn, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I just thought it was a quiet place because of a circumstance, but when you saw right. the the boogeyman, I was right. like, oh my God. Right. The, the creature the creature was no joke. joke. And, he, and you know, some mm -hmm. creatures mm -hmm. look like, oh really? Right, right. But that was menacing. That, that was that was menacing. That was scary. So I, I guess it. that was <laughs> the <laughs> horror part for me. I, I was like I, I was not expecting that. I, I, I agree with that. I totally now uh John Krasinski Fantastic job, yes. right? Directing, right? And him and his wife, yeah. right? Emily Blunt, uh, yeah. right? Were the stars yeah. of the show, yeah. right? So literally, and it was fantastic. So, yeah. that was, so that's my number one. That's so, number one. So, your number one. Okay. Can I have a tie? You can. can I, uh, you can. You can do it. I'm no, gonna have a show. We can do anything we want to, right? We're making rules here. So, we I'm gonna have a one and then a one plus. Okay. Okay, so what you want? So my one green book. Okay. O M G. Mahershala Ali. It's a fantastic actor. Love Golly. it. What's the last thing I seen him in? Uh Hidden 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 Figures. That's the last thing I oh seen him in. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I how do you describe it? Okay, again, a period piece. Right. You're going back to a time mm -hmm. that, you know, black folk know all too well. But the way he played that role with such dignity, an intelligent black man, educated black man, just the way that he went from, he had highs and lows. Right. You know, he went from, I'm up here, I'm a man of dignity and substance, and right. I'm educated, but then he could take a dip because right, of his because of his social situation, yes, right? And yeah, his yes. And his loneliness. He was a lonely man. At right. the end of the day, he was a lonely man. Right. And um, Vigo um, brought 
humanity to him right. and he did the same thing in return and at the end again and it doesn't take much to make me well up but at the end you can't help but well up because a friendship came from their travels and their interaction and everything they went through mm -hmm. together and before and I I I I'd heard about the green book mm -hmm. which is true so if people don't know that there is such a thing as a green book there is and uh at the end when the credits were rolling and you know you're reading the credits and they were still friends from that moment okay fantastic they they, be, they stayed fantastic. friends so that was my number 1 and then my number 1 plus is drum roll please <laughs> black panther Oh. <laughs> That's why Wakanda number, forever. The, Wakanda forever. Because the thing about that movie, you know, everything that you said about you know the cast and the story and all that, people are still on a Wakanda high. I feel you know a, a lot of times when I'm on you know social media or whatever, and there's a reference to it. There's all there's still that hashtag Wakanda forever. They're still talking about the queen of Wakanda. Whenever you see those three queens together, you know, that people are still feeling the movie for whatever reasons. And I hope that feeling continues into Oscar season because we are coming up on that. So I hope the buzz continues. But people are still feeling it. And I think a lot of it is just black pride. Right. It is. I mean, it, and you're going to have that. And, and, and and in this particular case, the Black Pride is called uh, it was really it was just a really good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a really good movie. So mm -hmm. basically you heard our two our uh, our top five, five. for twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. All right. Give your comments. All right. Tell us what you like. Tell us did you disagree with us? <laughs> All right. You see our range of uh, likeness of movies is totally, totally kind of different, right? right? But basically we had a couple we had two on that list. Yes. Quiet yes. place. place. And Black Panther. Right. All right, so we're okay. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Okay, so, first so time out. this is our new show. You're going to see us every week. We're going to come with a review. Have you seen it? <laughs> you guys have a nice day. This is Charles signing out. Dean. Signing out. Check out our social media in the description below at Have You Seen It, S-C-E-N-E -E underscore. We're out. <laughs>